Hey guys, this is Honest Steven. Just finished uh, watching the trailer for the newly announced Nintendo Switch, as it's now called, previously referred to as the NX. And uh, based on a lot of the rumors and the leaks and the reports that we had been getting, everything pretty pretty consistently lines up with what we what I had been informed of uh, regarding what it was going to end up being. Though I still am pleasantly surprised by the overall presentation of the couple minutes long trailer, for lack of a better word. I think, up front, Nintendo nailed this as an idea much more effectively than they did with the Wii U. I, uh, when I saw the concept trailer or reveal trailer or whatever it is you want to call it for the Wii U back in 2010... I really liked it. I was on board right away. There was pretty much no doubt in my mind that it would be a system I would want to buy at launch. But a lot of the things they showed just did not come across as actual, real, legitimate, like, this is what you're going to get. It came across more as like, we're, we're going to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. And we didn't get a lot of this stuff. And the few things we did didn't come till really late. Like, one of the things that stood out to me the most right off the bat for the Wii U reveal trailer was using the gamepad on the floor for golf. You'd see the golf ball down on the floor, be able to line up your shot easier. It was a really cool concept. And we did get that with the remaster of Wii Sports on Wii U. But, it was, I mean, that was a few years in, and that's pretty much the only thing other than standard gameplay uh, that we did get from the trailer. We didn't get the scope game, not really. We didn't get any compatibility with compatibility with accessories or anything like that. So for what they showed with the N the Nintendo Switch trailer, uh, all of it comes together really well. It expressed the idea very straightforward. I mean, we have what is essentially an evolution of the gamepad, um, designed to be more of a tablet than a controller, and you have, we'll just use this for reference, it's the same kind of concept as the gamepad, except these portions here will slide off and become their own independent controllers. Uh, the trailer showed a uh, a kind of controller that these could slide onto so that you don't have the screen. Because the concept for the Nintendo Switch is that when you're playing at home, you will put the screen into a dock. It almost looks like a, uh, a toaster. But it, it hides most of the screen. You can leave the controllers on the Joy-Cons, as apparently they're referring to them as, on the tablet and use a separate controller. Or you can connect the Joy-Con to a core little puck thing to uh, have it as a controller there. So it's a similar concept to this, except instead of being focused on the home co home console, it is more focused on uh, mobile uh, mobile play, getting up and leaving. Um, that is made very clear by the fact that it has the, a uh, Nvidia using the uh, a Tegra, I believe, chip on it. But it's it's very clearly a mobile device. The dock, the TV display, the controller, that is all going to allow you to play it at home, obviously. But it is important to note right off the bat before we even talk about what the Switch brings to the table, that this is not, this is not attempting to rival the PlayStation 4 Pro or this, the, uh, I think it's Xbox One Scorpio. I can't really remember offhand. I don't follow Xbox as well. But, um... It's not going to be the next generation graphical leap. Nintendo has not been attempting to do that since GameCube. And people have to understand that that's just the way it's going to be. In this day and age, it's very rare to find somebody who has a single console in their home if they are an avid gamer, if, they, if that is their hobby of choice. And when you have more than one console in your home, you don't need everything supporting everything. And what I mean by that is... It's nice to have choices, but at the end of the day, Nintendo develops their platforms for their own ideas. And the sooner you come to terms with that, the sooner you will be able to really appreciate what Nintendo Switch brings to the table 
and the less focus you'll give on the fact that it, it's not 4K gaming, it's not 120 frames per second gaming, it's not rivaling cutting edge PC gaming, it's just based on the specs I've, I've found leaked and I've been told and the bit, little bits of trailers, uh, the video and the trailer we saw and stuff, it seems like the, the Nintendo Switch will be on par to current generation output. Uh, it's very hard to gauge anything from that trailer because it's stock footage in a sense that it could have... What we saw playing on the tablet could not even have been real footage or it could have been beta footage or it, it could have been anything. We cannot judge performance on that. But what we did see was a version of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild l looking much cleaner than what I saw for the Wii U stuff. Uh, what looked like a remaster or a new version of Mario Kart. Um, Splatoon 2, I absolutely believe that that was Splatoon 2 in a ghost announcement. And what looked like a new Super Mario game. Um, felt very much like Super Mario 3D World, not so much like Galaxy. But again, it was a very brief snippet. Point is, all of those games look very much in line with what Wii U brought to the table, but a little bit cleaned up, a little bit sharper, um, so it's it's probably towing the line towards more of like PS4 and Xbox One, especially when you take into consideration that the little snippet they showed beyond uh, the Nintendo games was Skyrim, uh, The Elder Scrolls, and there's a remastered version of Skyrim, Skyrim coming to PS4 and Xbox One and PC, I would assume, um, very soon, and it only makes sense that the version of Skyrim we saw running on Nintendo Switch was the remastered version. So, while that is a dated game, and while Bethesda games generally do run on fairly, fairly archaic engines, that is still a pretty good litmus test of how a portable, I mean, the, the Nintendo Switch is a portable device. The comparison would be Vita and 3DS, first and foremost, foremost and it is rivaling, P like, not peaking, not topping out, not besting, but rivaling PS4 and Xbox One. And that's very impressive for what it is. Uh, the rumors and speculations have led into that when you have the tablet on the go, the uh, games will be a native 720 resolution, and then when you dock it, it will upscale them to 1080, or a possible switch in the dock of some sort will boost the power to a 1080 native. It's hard to tell, but it looks all good, and it, the idea, the power behind it seems to be where it needs to be for a mobile device. And uh, a lot of people are speculating battery life, but this is all specifics that we can't, we just can't come to terms with after a three minute long trailer. It's just you can't really get anything from that. So rumors and speculation beyond that are great and all. Finally, getting to the point, my impression is very much, I am super excited. I watched the trailer and I was like, yeah, that, that fixes everything I felt was wrong with Wii U. Um, I love off TV play on Wii U. I'm a father. I, you know, I have a wife. We both have, you know, full time jobs. It's you don't get too much time to really settle in and play a game too much nowadays. So being able to just pick up the game pad, boot it in off TV playing, there you go. You know what I mean? You're 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 playing a game right there, and you don't have to worry about setting up the big screen TV or going into the basement or going into the other room or whatever your your stuff is set up at. You can just do. Well. I never had much reliability with that. I mean, the gamepad's range is not very long, and it would pretty much mean that I could very rarely utilize the uh, the ability. So, Nintendo Switch fixes that. It it is its own system. It doesn't have to stream from the, the from the dock from the home console. So that's great. And the part in the trailer trailer where it showed the woman just say, "Oh, my friends are outside," I'm gonna, and pick this up and go. That's exactly what I wanted from Wii U from the get-go, and it's awesome to see it fully realized that way. And I love the fact that they showed off that you can hand one person one half of the Joy-Con, and you can have another person take the other half, and you can play multiplayer. It, I mean, it's four buttons and a stick and a shoulder button. I mean, you have pretty much everything you could really need for most of the simpler multiplayer games, like Mario Kart or something. That's awesome. I love that right out of the box. I'm going to have the ability to play a co-op game or a multiplayer game with my wife or my son. That's fantastic. And it's it's right there. 
And then of course, uh, I really appreciate that they, they built in a kickstand. Um, because at the end of the day, if you're gonna take this somewhere and play it and you wanna sit back, uh, you need the kickstand, and that's great. I mean, they had, they gave the gamepad, you know, for the deluxe owners a little stand, and that would have been fun. But I like that it's built in. I don't have to carry another piece with me. I can just literally pop it out and get to go if that does stay with the retail model. It's interesting that they went back to cartridges. But again, that reinforces that this is a, this is the 3DS's successor first and foremost. And by proxy of being a hybrid is the Wii U's successor. And the cartridges make sense. I mean, I, I don't know how you would have a portable a dedicated portable device with a full-size disc, and we don't need to have any more proprietary UMDs or proprietary uh, mini discs and stuff like that. That we don't need to go back to that. A simple cartridge that does its own thing it works well enough, and I like that idea. I'd be able to bring my entire library with me in a little game case, and I'm good to go. Um, I like the overall design. It's the trailer. It really did come across as a prototype. Like this is not what you're going to get in the box. A lot of the, the shapes and the textures they use for the controller and stuff, it felt very much like mock-up. Um, I do feel what we're going to end up getting will be completely different in like a color scheme and an overall design, but the general gist of it will still be there. We got, we got a core idea from the trailer and that worked well. Um, I like that they made sure that, to point out that there is going to be a pro controller, uh, for lack of a better phrase. Because as much as I like the tablet, you're not always going to, going to want to sit back and hold that. Especially if you're docked at home, you can't sit back and hold that. And the Joy-Con's base controller thing does not look fantastically comfortable. So having a full dedicated controller that you'd be able to just use alongside, just like with Wii U, that's a great option. I'm glad they made that clear up front. Um... I'm glad that they showed Zelda Mario and Splatoon. Um, I pretty much guarantee that those four games will be launch titles. Breath of the Wild makes most sense. Um, I'm glad that they, uh, they're they launching with a Zelda game, even if it is another Twilight Princess, in the sense that it's supposed it was supposed to come out on a different thing, and it came out on this same time thing. Um, but at the end of the day... Uh, Wii U has been dead in the water for a couple of years now, and Nintendo made the right choice. It's, I'm glad it's still releasing on Wii U for the people that aren't ready to adopt Switch, but that was a smart choice. Launching with a Zelda will help a lot. I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm super hyped for Splatoon 2. I love the first game a lot. Um, Nintendo did a great job supporting it, even though it launched a little, a little light on the content. They remedied that pretty quick, completely free. And uh, they handled it really well. I'm glad to see a second one. I'm glad to see them focusing on uh, pushing the eSports side of it. While I don't follow that myself and I have no desire to participate in that way, it's good that they're trying to acknowledge that this is our competitive game. Right alongside Smash Brothers. This is going to be the thing that we're going to have people really want to compete with. Um, and, you know, new Mario Kart's great. I loved Mario Kart 8. It's a fantastic game. Bought all the DLC for it. Well worth it. Um... I don't think it's going to be a new Mario Kart, though. I feel like it's probably going to be a Double Dash remaster or just a straight, like, Mario Kart 8 remaster. Uh, I, I don't know. Just something about the little bit we got and the overall timing. We don't really get launched... We don't really get Mario Kart launch titles uh, these days. And it, it just feels like that's going to be a remaster, but that's not important. But anyway, with those four games and... Acknowledging Bethesda getting a Skyrim game, I mean, a Elder Scrolls game on there, that is a good thing. Uh, that shows that at least initially, um, some heavy hitters are really taking the Switch seriously, especially considering, like I said, it is a mobile device. If Bethesda thinks a mobile device is worth putting Skyrim on, that's great. And yeah, I saw the, the slide that showed EA and Ubisoft and all that stuff. I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, they were all super hype on board for Wii U, and EA was right there trying to help Nintendo build a network infrastructure and stuff, and we saw how that went. So, that meant nothing to me. At the end of the day, I buy Nintendo platforms to play Nintendo games. 
Is it nice when there's a third party game? Of course. Is, there, is it nice when I don't have to have every single system to play every single game? Of course. But I buy, my, I buy Nintendo platforms for Nintendo games and Nintendo experiences because they always get the most out of the console. And that's what I'm expecting here. I mean, I have my PS4, I have my uh, Wii U, I don't have an Xbox One. Maybe down the line, eventually, I don't really care too much for it. But I have my 3DS, I have my Vita. I have I don't need the I don't need the Nintendo Switch to be the end all be all. I just need it to be supported by Nintendo and not be abandoned and having third parties come in bring in brings in the financial stability that Nintendo needs to focus on its its creations and I, I wish it the best because I want to see third parties on a console and I feel like this can work, you know, considering it's ain't targeting like the phone game market along with the mobile game portable game market along with it. it's it's really smart um my biggest questions well let, let me just in closing i i think this is the first nintendo console that anybody could get excited for since A long time a long time I mean we really didn't kick off the whole universal aspect until it launched and people picked it up it's it's revealed didn't really sell anybody on it and we use same way and GameCube and N64 they were their own thing I mean they were revolutions in the sense that they changed up the industry a bit but it was hard if you weren't into the into the industry into the into the hobby you had no real reason to get excited, and my wife's super excited for this. She thinks it's super cool, and a few people I've talked to at work are interested in it. I, you know, it's like, it's a cool idea, and I think the trailer did a fantastic job of getting the point across. It's easy to understand. The concept works. I think it was smart in Nintendo to focus on the mobile side, get cartridges, all that stuff. I really hope they figure out the online infrastructure, though, and I'm not talking about online play. That's always been well enough. It works as well as anything else I've ever used. But like the friend lists, the messaging, the the voice chat, the 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 actual networking between players needs to be fixed. Wii U had a great chance at it. It tried a couple good things, but it blew it. I love Miiverse as an idea, but that is that should not be the end all be all. We need party chat. We need game invites. We need things to work like steam works like ps4 works playstation network like xbox live works these things are normal now nintendo needs to get that and if they have to nail that it does not matter if nintendo switch ran at a billion resolution at a thousand frames per second and had every single game supporting on our sun if you still had to deal with friend codes like as an example let's go back to Wii. if it still had to deal with friend codes no one would buy it Period. It's just, people would rather sacrifice certain content and certain features just to have streamlined ease of use regarding their online play. Because nowadays, online play is the central, pivotal aspect of, of gaming and multiplayer, for better or worse. So as long as Nintendo can get that figured out, which ha technically has nothing to do with the Nintendo Switch, I think they nailed it. I think this is everything they needed to do. Um, they've always been strongest in their portable market. They've always kind of just had a niche thing going on with the home console market. So they're focusing on the portable while still giving people at home what they need, what they want. They are really pushing the hybrid aspect. They are really embracing the, um, the nature of fluidity and like never being locked down. I like it a lot. Um... I'm guessing like a $299.99 MSRP. Uh, that feels like the average price point for consoles nowadays. Uh, any higher will be bad for this. Um, unless, I mean, if it's like a bundle where it comes with an extra controller and a such and such and a so on, that's fine. But the base unit, the, the dock, the tablet, and the Joy-Con have to not clear $300. Um... Obviously, they need to profit off this, and Nintendo 
up until very recently, was very avid about never selling anything um, below profit with their game consoles, and I feel like 300 is a fair price point for that, uh, especially considering, you know, like, 3D, 3DS and Vita launched at pretty high points um, for what they were. So, I think $300, March is, definitely makes sense, which reinforces that this is their portable successor. It's not really their home console. They're talking about it as a home console. It functions as a home console, but this is the port. This is a portable. You have to keep that mindset so you don't get disappointed by the specs. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's super exciting. I'm glad to see Nintendo really, s they, it feels like they understand what they, what they did wrong with Wii U. The, the name is very straightforward. It's Nintendo Switch. You switch between home, switch between mobile, you switch between tablet with controllers, tablet without controllers, switch between players, you switch between, it, it makes sense, it sells it right there. It is the Nintendo Switch. I like the little logo action they had too. That was shoot. Um, fair price point from what the rumors and leaks I've been hearing it are. It's just good. This is... Wii U was a massive, massive stumble for Nintendo and I was like I, I would not be surprised if they backed out of the video game market after this. I mean 3DS was getting on in years and they can only do so much with that without trying to like really mix things up but Wii U was done and it was a shame I love the system for what I played it on I love the system for what I played on it and uh, it was a neat idea very you know different but it, it just they didn't know what they wanted from it they didn't know what the people wanted from it they were riding on Wii's coattails too hard they just expected that to work they it was it was a it was a rough time to be a Nintendo fan, um, but here this seems like it they've fixed everything I can think of that I would personally had criticisms of and that most people had criticisms of. Um, you're still going to hear people say, "Oh, it's not powerful enough. Oh, it's not strong enough. Oh, it's never going to." Eh, you, no one, no one on this planet is ever going to make a device that universally appeals to everybody and satisfies everyone, and that's fine. You know, um, I'm. Criticism is good, whether it's justified or not. That's a different different thing. But criticism is good. Always demand the best, but don't ever forget to step back and appreciate what you have, so that way you can actually be happy with what there is. Because it's at the end of the day, does it suck when something doesn't take full advantage of your 4K TV? Yeah, it kind of does sometimes, I guess. But we're not there yet, so it's like. Isn't it just awesome how the game made you feel? How much fun you had with your friends playing with, playing it that one time, or so on and so forth? That's things we got to remember. Take Nintendo Switch for what it is. It is the evolution of what we see as portable gaming. It is embracing the mobile gaming market. It is trying to satisfy the people who want to have a home time. And it seems like this is exactly what we needed. Um, it'll be awesome to have that on my entertainment stand next to my PlayStation and my Xbox and all that stuff like that and just a lot of different options nowadays it's a pretty good time to be a, be, in, be into the hobby so let me know your thoughts in the comments what did you think of the reveal uh, I'll probably put a link to the trailer into the description that way you can see it yourself and you're not just blindly you know listening to my rant without knowing the actual content, but I suppose if you looked this up, you would have already seen it. Uh, as for my normal content, I was in the process of recording uh, footage for Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE on Wii U, but the first couple nights that I played it, it, just, it was super late, I got to it too late, and I kind of lost my drive on it. And taking a break from playing it a little bit, I stopped and realized, I was like, a JRPG probably isn't the best bet to do a long play on. Um, so I'm going to probably put that on the back burner and then pick up something else. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of what you'd like me to play, I have a Vita, I have a 3DS, I have a Wii U, I have a PlayStation 4. Um, anything on those you want me to pop out and ch uh, look into reviewing, just let me know in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Uh... Otherwise, I'll find something and I'll, I'll get it together. Don't worry, I'm, I'm figuring this stuff out. So, this felt more like a rant than anything, but I 
I, I just came in from work and it was like, you know what, I'm going to just knock this out right now. Fresh thoughts. Uh, so I apologize if there's any uh, disorientation or confusion about me bouncing between subjects. But I hope you got the general gist of my first impressions regarding the trailer. So for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my opinion. And I will continue to do my best to bring you the most honest opinions you can find on the internet. And I hope you have a good night. Thanks for watching.